everyone, how are you? I hope everyone's doing really well, that you're heeding the advice to stay at home and to practice social distancing. The newest recommendation is that you have a mask when you leave your house. So I know there's been a few no-sew recommendations out there using bandanas. I just thought maybe I've got other things at the house that I could use to do it with. I started digging through drawers and lo and behold, I found a yarmulke. I'm sure most of you have many of these from lots of family and friends celebrations that you've had. If you look at the shape of it, it's absolutely perfect for a mask. So I started thinking how I could do this as a no-sew. First, I turned it around, the cotton side you want to have inside. I took one side, flipped it over with one of the hair rubber bands, took a stapler, and very quickly did one staple in there. This is if you're a smaller person and it would fit beautifully. It was definitely too small for my husband, so I decided to see what I could do without folding it. So I took it as such, put it over his nose. Again, no sewing. I had a paper punch. I took right where the seams are, quick paper punch on each side, I ran out of hair bands, so I took rubber bands that I had in the drawer, slide one in through the hole punch, pull it through, and lo and behold, you have a larger size which gives you full coverage. If you reach that you don't have any rubber bands or anything, I'm a person who kind of saves some things, I had some leftover holiday ribbon and also some spools of ribbon that I could use for other things. So I just very quickly took the ribbon cut it, stapled it again, put it over the nose, and this would be a tie mask for you. Just very quickly, you can tie it around your head. One of those people, just so you know, I have lots, I found a ton of them. So have fun, get creative, and again, another quick no-so way to have a mask when you leave your house. Stay safe.